so today we are going to talk about the difference between the star schema and the snowflake schema and when exactly we use them this is also an important interview question so let us get started on the left hand side of the screen we have a star schema wherein the fact table is surrounded by the dimension table whereas in case of snowflake schema we can see the exact same structure but additionally all the dimension tables are further extended to the sub dimension tables so by just looking at these two diagrams what do we conclude we conclude that the star schema has got a very simple or the basic structure whereas snowflake schema has got a more granular detailed or hierarchical structure now what exactly is this fact table and the dim table that we have been talking about so let us try to understand the difference between the fact table and the dim table with the help of an example let's just say that you have got an electronic shop and within the electronic shop you have different products products like laptops smartphones headphones so you have created a separate table for these products you have also created a separate tables for your regular customers okay so now this product table or the customer table that we have been talking about are nothing but the dimension table which has got all the description or the information or the master data also suppose that you have created a separate table which is called as a sales table and in that particular sales table you are maintaining all the transactional data what products were sold which customer purchased those product based on the particular date so basically this is all transactional data which is maintained in the sales table we can conclude that the dimension table has got descriptive or the informative data whereas the fact table has got all the transactional data about the business transactions happening on a daily basis now let us talk about the decision criteria that we should consider while selecting snowflake or the star schema the first criteria that we have to consider is the data complexity what i mean is if you have a normalized data structure then snowflake schema is more suitable whereas if you have got a denormalized data structure then star schema is more suitable now some of my cute friends must be thinking what exactly is this normalized or the denormalized data structure no worries let us try to understand the difference between the normalized and the denormalized data structure with the help of an example uh, so let me keep this explanation short and simple first of all let us try to understand what does the normalized data structure look like we can see we have got students table and address table so basically we can say that in case of normalized data structure the data is separated into multiple tables and these multiple tables are connected through the foreign keys whereas in case of denormalized data structures you will see that there are less foreign keys and the data is mostly packed into very fewer tables as we can see that in this particular table student and the address table data is clubbed into just one single table so if you have got a denormalized data structure like this that is you have got a fewer tables then star schema is more suitable whereas if you have got a normalized data structure that means you have got a more hierarchical data you have got more number of tables you have got more number of foreign keys so in such normalized data structure the snowflake schema is more suitable so in summary we can say that if you have got a simple or the denormalized data structure then star schema is suitable if you have got a complex more hierarchical data structure then snowflake schema is more suitable uh, the second point that you need to consider while selecting the star schema or the snowflake schema is your performance requirement if you want the query execution time to be faster then star schema is more suitable whereas if scalability and flexibility is your concern then you should go ahead with the snowflake schema what do i mean by scalability and flexibility if the data that you are using for the reports is going to grow further and it will get more complex more hierarchical then you should go ahead with the snowflake schema now the third factor that we need to consider is your reporting needs if the reporting requirement given by the business are more stable and well defined then we can go ahead with the star schema whereas if the reporting requirement given by the business are going to change over time the reporting requirements are going to get more complex then in that scenario you will need flexibility then you should go ahead with the snowflake schema so at the end i would say that you should consider these factors and depending upon your project requirement you should decide whether to go ahead with the star schema or the snowflake schema i hope this will help you to make your understanding better my name is shrikant and i thank you so much for watching this video